Welcome back to Let's Play Corpse Party Book of Shadows, where last time, I don't know what happened. So this time, we're gonna, um, uh, not go here. Um, okay, yes. These all look like hell, by the way. It's small A. I can't go this way, though. I didn't see anything with the wire thing. Um... What's up here again? Is bathroom party time up here? Are these... These look kind of red. Oh, wait. No, I can't go in there anyways. That was a dead end. So was it over here? The bathroom? Dun, dun. Speed run. I don't know what darkening is, but it's probably not good, huh? No matter how much I wandered, I just couldn't seem to figure out where Seiko had run off to. And I'd been teased from the shadows and frightened the whole time I was searching. I couldn't take much more of it. I was losing my mind. When I came back to my senses, I found myself standing in the hallway on the third floor of the school building. A door. Dun dun. I began to doubt myself, dun dun. To doubt the fated events that lay ahead, or whatever these horrific futures were. I forgot to eat breakfast today. That was it. That's not related to this. I was glad I forgot something. I had no real reason to doubt the things I've been envisioning, envisioning though, of course. But I kept telling myself it was all just paranoia. I experienced deja vu many times in my life that involved schools. Someone once told me that deja vu was just the brain recognizing a similar situation from one's past and making a false connection, pulling the wrong file. I basically lost all ability to reason as if my mind had been taken over by some outside force I broke down on the spot and began crying take my word for it I don't know really and as I rose, I was thirsty. The file is in wood. Oh, that file. <laughs> Sounds of a struggle coming from inside the bathroom straw stall. It's exactly the same. This always happens. Oh, 
今閉じたように見えた On the third stall door from the back, as if it were just closed. My heart was racing. I was so nervous. It felt like all the blood in my body had begun flowing in reverse. Behind the door. Just looking at the noose sent a wave of dark feelings through my mind. The specter of death was right in front of me, baring its fangs. If I went too much longer without finding her, Hmm. Hi. Unconsciously, I pushed on it. It was well hidden, to say the least. Never once would I have guessed there would be a room in Hey, a ladder! <laughs> There's a ladder in the toilet, you guys! ここを降りていくと、2階や1階を越えて地下にまで到達してしまいそうだ。気圧か風のせいなのか、隠し扉が勝手に閉まっていた。さっきからの音はこれだったのか。この穴場所が場所だけに。But if Seiko had gone this way, I shook off my misgivings and began descending. Oh, bad idea, yay! <laughs> That's a... Unfortunate noise, huh? <laughs> Seiko, is that? Never mind. Seiko! Damn it. I wonder if maybe this ladder ended up in a garbage dump or something. It sounded weird. But I didn't want to miss something and have to do this again later. <sighs> I was waffling my desire to be thorough and my instinct to turn back, but I kept climbing down all the while through my brain. Ugh. Oh, damn it. Sure is wet. I'm not careful. I might slip. She fell in a puddle. Not a ladder! よかった。動物層じゃなくて。そこは泥の壁と土の床に囲まれた洞窟のような小部屋だった。降りてきた穴から薄暗い光が少しだけ照らしてくれているけれど、ほとんど真っ暗に近い。調べる意味あるかな、
While surveying my surroundings as best I could, I attempted to stand up, but that didn't go very well. Great, looking good. せいこりてあてをしてもらった。捻挫した方の足首で着地してしまい。また痛めてしまったのだ。くそ。そうなんじゃないよ。Cuz ああ。Hitting the wall for support, I attempted to stand once more, this time holding my sprained ankle in the air as best I could. I placed both my hands on the ladder, but it was no use. I couldn't even make the first step. Mustering all my strength, I figured I'd give jumping a try. But as soon as the other one came into contact, oh, here we go. I can feel my. Oh. Wait, really? Don't sob if you're gonna wrong end me. You can ball when I don't get wrong end. Oh. Then all of a sudden, I sense a person in front of me. It was a wrong end. よく Oh, her voice got louder. They go drunk on butt cream.
Text slow. This is going to go bad really fast, isn't it? Rub, certainly, but... Nah. I'm recording, right? If I wasn't. Yeah, yep. Y yep. Okay. Don't want to miss this Kodak moment. She wanted to hug me. And I immediately obliged without the slightest hesitation. This was Seiko. Warm and alive. Soft and smelling lovely as usual. I was someplace underground, I think, with no way out, and then I saw a little girl, was it? For the life of me, I couldn't remember clearly. Except for nooses. ヨウグイン室の中は明かりは<笑> なおみも足首どう？まだ辛い。さっきすごく痛くなったような気がするんだけど、今全然平気だよ。よかった。聖子、おまじないの切れ端は見つかった？When did you lose it? ないの。
どっかで落としたのかなこの学校の中じゃ探すの難しいかなうん困ったねじゃあ帰ったらさ委員長に頼んでもう一回おまじないみんなでやろうよ Yeah, let's do the ritual again because it worked out really good this first time. Once we calm down, talking about the ritual a little bit, we reached the point where we simply didn't want to leave the room anymore. We had no desire to go back into those halls. So we didn't. Ah,、uh, okay. A class and a festival and our sleepover the previous night. Ordinary, everyday conversation. But then I happen to look over and catch Seiko staring at me. Yes. She's trying to sell me this. She's trying to tell me to save the game. Was this Yuri? Not Kisu. Why not? Okay, there we go. Yes, because <laughs> friends make out. Seiko a damate, could be a boom boom to your coni fru. Atamoga masiro nina. Quit a cock. No, she wasn't. Don't see any more. Sorry to go to night on it. Seiko a taiki and I to your stay. It's me to damate shimata. よく見えないけどきっと顔を耳まで真っ赤にしてブルブルと震えていたと思う本気なの結婚したいくらいチューもしたいハグもしたいあまり小さくて震えた聖子の声初めて聞いた。私は気がつくと理由のわからない涙を流していた。あ、uh, あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、I love you. <laughs> Run away. 
一人で業務員室を飛び出してきてしまった。I still couldn't tell why I was crying. It's like I was just scared, or I was happy, or maybe I just lost a friend, or try out for the track team. So I needed to calm down. The Seiko I was friends with wasn't gone, she hadn't been lost. Regardless of whether or not I was able to return her feelings, I owed her at least a thank you. Drip? Word. I don't even know, it's over 26 seconds. It was slowly spilling out into the floor. God, was that a bug? I had a bad feeling about this. All I knew was, it was close. Like, really close. Wait, no, it couldn't be. I looked down at my feet and I gasped. Uh, I don't think that's how that works. Uh, I don't know. And fall backwards, landing harder on my rear. But we're not going to show you that. But try as I might to shut out the world, the world was determined not to be ignored. It was like heaven and earth were moving all around me. I felt dizzy. It was like my soul and my body were separating. I became actually aware of my own mass and started obsessing over it. I was so heavy. My head, in particular, the human cranium, weighs about five kilograms, and I could feel every gram straining my neck muscles. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. Past and future memories. Ah, 
本当に死ぬんだと諦めかけた途端ふっと頭痛とめまいが収まった目の前がぼんやり光っているのを感じる塞がっていた目は開くかな私はぎゅっと締めていた slowly and carefully I relaxed the muscles that were so forcefully and fearfully holding my eyelids shut God, did I wrong end and go back to the day before and now I gotta go to sleep over? I knew exactly where I was. I'd seen this image a million times before. I'd see it just like this morning. Let's say this is my house. A dream within a dream within someone else's dream? Really? いつも留守番して偉いなほら可愛がってあげてくれよよかったわねナオミあお母さんこの子がいればもう留守番も寂しくないでしょお父さんもお母さんもいつも遅くなってごめんねあなたがいい子で本当によかったわこの猫がいれば寂しくないよな。ごめんな。Uh, a cat is like a person, really. メイは家の部屋を散歩したり戻ってきたり、半分話し合いの猫だった。Who? Kid got hit by a car, didn't it? Obviously, that's where it is going. Either that or a child is going to attack the. She didn't kill her cat, did she? しばらくしてメイはうちから急にいなくなった私は泣きながら毎日表を探し回ったけどとうとう帰ってきてくれなかった残念だね猫も気まぐれなところがあるからな、like、hating you. 違うのせっかくのお友達だったのにね私が悪いの。新しいお友達ができるよ。You'll make a new cat friend in no time. メイちゃんは優しいから、私の前からいなくなったんだ。私があんなこと言わなければよかったんだ。OK。メイちゃん。OK。メイちゃん。Hello? Where are we?
Oh, this same scene. Um. Oh, good, she's here. Don't eat that, Seiko. She's holding that thing pretty well for a dead person. No, not reality again. So it's Seiko. Within the unyielding darkness, I knew that whoever it was taking Seiko's shape was coming towards me. She's here. She's right next to me. I can feel her breath. I can sense her presence. Who are you? Ooh. <laughs> this is the future where... <laughs> hey! Hey there, blurry image. Hey, 
This isn't the first time you've experienced this sequence of events, but you already knew that, didn't you? でも私は無言でうなずいた。断片的だったけれど、圧倒的な存在感で一度目のビジョンが見えていた。ずっと感じてた既視感は私の脳が作り出した夢や妄想じゃなかったんだ。だったら絶望の鳥なはもう見えている
No, didn't I use the bucket and, uh... Wasn't the, uh, her first, uh, reaction in the actual game to go out and get a bucket? Is that thing? She's okay! Seiko was thrashing about wildly, moving still, frantic, frantically squirming gray. Seemed automatic, like a reflex. The body struggle for life. Yeah, I know, we need air. All I could see as I watched her body writhing on that rope was proof positive that she wanted to live. I'm gonna save you, but you know. I could see the future. Fate was on my side for a change. Grabbing onto her isn't necessarily gonna do anything. Do I get to cycle through these? Is there gonna be more than one option? Is this entire game just going to be guessing? A whole new world. A new destiny. It was an odd sensation. My deja vu, my memories of that horrible future had ground to a halt. I had no idea what would happen from now on. 
It seems the only memories I retained from that other timeline were the ones related to my dearest friend's demise. Seiko had stopped squirming and simply slumped over, exhausted from her whole ordeal. I reached my hand up to her neck, gently and carefully. And after a lot of fumbling, I successfully untied the knot on the rope. Peeling the slack noose off. She gonna talk? Yep. Always full of laughter. Is she, is she dead? Am I gonna get a wrong end? Why did something so horrible have to happen to her? But there was nothing to be afraid of anymore. Seiko and I now bypassed the sad fate that previously awaited us. As long as the two of us were together, we'd make it through this. I looked down at Seiko, still breathing, and sobbed. I let Seiko out of the stall and gently laid her down on the bathroom floor. She was too weak to go any farther, just yet. Seiko, Maga! That's not a very good answer. Does she have hair in her mouth now? Hi. No problem. I saved your life. Uh, it's a nice way to repay me. Okay. Naomi, not not good with people. Maybe I should have asked for another option. That third one would have gotten it. Hugger! Wait a minute. Stairs. Wait a minute. They didn't do what I think they just did, did they? I think they did. Yeah. Yeah, they did it. Fucking A. How's it going? You see what happens when you don't look? I saved you. I, I didn't do a good job, but...
Well, you get to be the thumbnail, I guess. <laughs> or you. That is very intriguing. That's the whole premise of the fucking game. <laughs> okay, you stop that. Stop looting. Decent thumbnail too, but that's kind of a spoiler, I guess. I guess a little bit. Because of my own adversarial actions, Seiko wound up meeting a fate even worse than death by hanging, death by running into a wire. It's my fault! I mean, well, really, it's her fault. But. My tears began, began raining down on Seiko's cheek and on her forehead, into her nose, into her mouth into her eyes. But Seiko's eyes wouldn't close. Despite lacking the ability to focus anymore, she just kept staring right at me. What thoughts are going through your mind? I, I can't imagine why. She's usually so responsive, but today it just wasn't happening. Well, technically, you're not alone. You can bring the head with you. Cause I got a wrong end, God. You'll get out of the school when I get a right end. Huh? An alternate universe tale. Number one, clear! Number two, Demise chapter is now playable. That one sounds fun. Satomi Arai, Soulful Testimony Unlocked, and Bonus Menu. Sure. Sure.
So wait, is it gonna be a start a new game every time? Yeah, okay. How many minutes are we? Fuck, over an hour, shit. Well, we finished up the chapter. Uh, next time on Let's Play Corpse Party Book of Shadows, we're gonna start chapter two, Demise. Sounds lovely. See you guys next time on this.